Mabuhai and welcome back to our small family channel. Today I want to talk about living in the Philippines because when I ask people about their thoughts on living in the Philippines, a lot of them, they are really concerned and I'm wondering why is that? Is the Philippines just another third world country? Let's take a look at some different facts. I hear it all the time. People have so many preconceptions about the Philippines. But the question is, are they right? Is the Philippines a place where life is only a struggle? Let's find it out and here comes fact number one. The Philippines, they don't have an insurance system? Are you sure? Of course not. I would say the biggest one is PhilHealth, where the most of the Filipinos even are registered. You can pay your monthly fees like in every other insurance and you will be covered if you're having an emergency and you will go to the hospital. Even if you're just out of work and you're still a member of PhilHealth, you will be taken care of even if your monthly fee is not paid yet. because. All the others that are paying are taking care of the ones that are out of work right now. It's like a big pot where everybody pays in and then it pays off for those who really need help. If you're already retired, you might have your SSS, that's another system. It's not just a retirement fund, it always helps you if you are sick as a retired person and you have to pay your hospital bill the SSS will step in also. And you have a third option that's for everybody who's never been employed like a farmer, somebody who's not registered anywhere. Then you have the chance to go to the social welfare office in every public hospital and they will find a way to help you pay your bills. So it's not just not covered, there's many different ways. And if it's not enough, you can just have an international insurance, like a travel insurance, that will take care no matter in which country you are. And they start already as low as like $100 a month per person. I can give you some links in the bottom. There's a lot of possibilities to be safe if you're in a foreign country. And especially in the Philippines, you don't have to worry. The hospital standards are great, I mean, what is the biggest export from the Philippines? It's nurses and doctors, no? They all have international experience and they're coming back. Especially the private hospitals, they are well equipped, they're doing a great job. And also during the pandemic, I want to salute again. Yes, the nurses and the doctors, they did a really great job. So you don't have to worry in case of emergencies. In the Philippines, you will be really taken care of. Great. Thanks to all of you. So, I hope I could take that fear out of you. Let's look into fact number two. Really? You're paying the education card now? Come on, that is not true. You have a lot of possibilities in the Philippines. There's a lot of colleges, universities that have a Western standard. Okay, they might be private and you might have to pay for it. But who doesn't? Let's take a look at the US. You want to tell me you don't struggle when you think about your kid's future and you have to pay for college, especially if it should be a good one? Of course, it's the same. So there you have to pay for the education. The Philippines has another problem when it comes to that because it comes of for the recognition of your papers, of your diploma. We just witnessed that here in Germany, that it's not so easy to get all your papers recognized that the other countries are telling, okay, we accept this, you have this kind of education. But you're having a great standard if you pay for those colleges. Western standard, your kids will be taking really good care in the Philippines. And I'm not worried, I would even send my kids there to school. And maybe we will do that one day. So. Just look into it, there's a lot of possibilities 
And let's look at fact number three. Ah, the living standard, yeah, that's a big topic. I mean, of course, it's growing over time and like everywhere, it's depending on your Benjamins, no? But step by step, everybody is getting there. It's not like in the Western world that you're just building your house. Normally there, you're building your house step by step. One room, when you have money, you build another room. And maybe then you have money, you build a second floor. It's all coming piece by piece. But you're constructing your comfort zone the way you like. Even us, we started with a plywood door or even just a plywood board in a corner as a bathroom. Of course, it was too small for the big foreigner and I always was shown from the top. But yeah, that's how it is. Nowadays, we have a nice bathroom and even we just install the water heater. I mean, mostly in the Philippines, there's just one water temperature and that is fresh. Yeah, now we can even take a hot shower. That's a luxury. But yeah, you get all the Western luxury equipment, luxury tools. You get nearly every Western luxury product in the Philippines and you don't have to worry about it. The only thing you need, Benjamins. Yes, so don't worry. If you have the necessary money, like everywhere in the world, life is good. So let's look at the next fact. <sighs> yeah, natural disasters. Of course, we are having typhoon seasons and the people know what's coming. So the better your shelter, the less of a problem. If you're constructing the stone, that's much better than you're constructing the bamboo and your hut might not fly away. You know that, you know what you're getting into. And uh, yeah, we got stroked really hard by Yolanda and Odette, even us. Half of the roof flew away, but we managed. Thanks. And no people were harmed, that's the most important. So you know what you're getting into. Except if you're a famous vlogger that is just living on the open Pacific side. I think you know who I'm talking about. Yeah, no, life can be really good. And the Philippines are not the only country that is getting stroked by those natural disasters. Look what's happening right now in Pakistan. They are suffering of a great flooding and the, the danger is not from the ocean. It's coming from inside the country after the rainfalls. We had big earthquakes in Haiti and the Eastern Mediterranean Sea. It can happen all over the planet and it is. So normally you know what you're getting into and you are prepared. And I don't think that living on an island in the Philippines is much more dangerous than anywhere else in the world. So let's look at fact number five. Yeah, politics and corruption. You're right. Yeah, the Bacha Duterte. The dictator's son is now coming. Everything is going down. One of the big problems is that in the Western world, we're just getting the bad news from the Philippines. Not the good ones. We have natural disasters. We have the bad politics. We have the corruption. But what they really do in the Philippines and how the people in the Philippines are thinking about them the most of the people don't know that here. So I just want to take the opportunity and show you some impressions that I found on the internet. What do the Pinoy people really think about their former president? Let's take a look. He is very sincere and very true to what he says about loving the country. I think he has a very strong passion in fixing all the real problems of our country. He may be really strict to the criminals, but to the Filipinos who are more innocent, I think he's really, really loving and caring for them. Sa Manila, kahit labas ko yung dati, hindi ko talaga yung yung bakpak ko nasa harap. Tapos hindi ko talaga nilalabas yung cellphone ko. Ngayon free ako. Caka so kaya kailangan talaga maging bloody. Kailangan talaga matakot yung mga tao. 
dyan sa authorities. Kasi kung wala, kagaya lang nung dati, wala talaga mangyayari. So, kailangan, para sa akin talaga tama lang yan na ganyan. Ganyan yung lagay. President Duterte is often portrayed by the Western media as brutal leader without any respect for human rights. As a Filipino, how do you feel about this? I feel sad. I just hope that, you know, inter that uh, the international media opens its eyes so that they, they can see what Duterte really has done good for, for the country and it's a lot compared with, with other with the previous presidents. Yung hindi okay sa kanya, ano sa tingin mo? Para sa akin, wala naman hindi okay sa kanya. Parang di pa ako nag-ano lang, nagmumurang president ni Daddy. Parang ngayon lang. Whoa! Did you believe that? That former President Duterte has such a standing in the Philippines? A lot of people are fond what he did and they love that the crime rate went down. And so a lot of people are really looking forward that Marcos will continue that program because he should fight, fight corruption. He should continue building the infrastructure like Duterte began, big highways, train programs, everything, new bridges to connect the single islands and of course the war on drugs. So the Philippines is not a bad place and of course it struggles like a lot of other countries but they're trying to do the best inside and it's not that bad as it's always reported in the Western media. There is also bright sides. It's also interesting now for investors because a lot of big companies are trying to pull out of China and the Philippines is a nice alternative in Asia. So we hope the economy will keep on growing and that maybe some of those companies will come here. And we're good situated for the future, we're looking into renewable energies and everything will go the right way. So I hope I could show you a different side of the Philippines and that you might be interesting of having a vacation here. It's not all golden, but that's like in every country there, but it's so beautiful and of course, there is poverty and uh, sadness and maybe some people that are not so lucky, but that's in every country in the world. So I hope I could take away some of your fears, really. Come visit the Philippines. The slogan is, it's much more fun in the Philippines. And they are right. The Philippines is a great country. And yeah, come visit, check it out. There's much more than just Palawan, Bohol and the Chocolate Hills. We're living outside the city center of Cebu. The island is amazing. And yeah, check it out, visit the Philippines, do it, find your space. If you have questions, we're always here. I hope you enjoyed our topic today. Please feel free to subscribe, to like it. So leave a comment, we will answer you as quickly as possible and we will see us again in our next episode on this channel. So, bye bye!